What's up, bitches? This is Silent Rob. And this is gonna be kind of a quick video. I don't know, I say quick video sometimes it ends up being 30 fucking minutes, but we'll see, bitches. Um, as you guys know, I love me some handheld emulator consoles, bitches. I fucking love them shits. I put them on my butt, okay? And I have a lot. Um, at this point, I have three modded Vitas. Uh, I have this GP uh, GPDXD, which isn't my favorite, but it is pretty cool. Um, it's actually, it's basically a personal opinion about this fucking, about this D-pad right here that I just really don't care for. Um, but a lot of people seem to be able to handle it just fine, and it has a great battery life. It's a good console. And for many people, this would be enough. Um, but I have a lot of problems with this thing. It doesn't really have a user replaceable battery, so when this battery goes out, it's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass to one, get to the battery. I mean, you can get to it, but I've noticed finding replacement batteries for these GPDXDs are like fucking impossible. I don't even think they sell them through their website. So it kind of worries me. It feels like every time I'm playing this thing, it's kind of like a ticking time bomb. You know what I mean? I've had issues with batteries and stuff in the past. So I don't know. I, I, I tend to not play this one as much in fear of just running the battery down and I'm gonna, it's going to be a big fucking hassle to get another battery or I'm going to have to buy a whole another one. And it's kind of expensive for that oversight. I don't typically like things like that. You know what I mean? That's why I don't buy a lot of like online only games too because once the servers are down, you can't play them anymore. I, 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 I tend to think in the future, bitches. I try to future-proof everything I buy. And so I, I play my Vita a lot. Out, out of all the ones I'm ever going to talk about, the Vita is going to be the best. The Vita is amazing. It's literally the Cadillac of handhelds. And once you mod it, it's fucking awesome with Hinkaku, put all that shit on it. To be honest, I haven't modded them, and it's such a fiddly, fucking bang-your-head-against-the-wall retarded process to mod these things. I couldn't even tell you how to mod a Vita at this point, bitches. I, I get people asking me questions all the time, and there's a there's a point of time point of time where I was, like, really caught up in it. You know, I was, like, fixing them. You guys know I was on my on FDU talking about that shit. But literally, like, you can't not do a, a mod on a Vita for a while and then come back to it. Like, it's... It's the most fiddly fucking ridiculous process, and I couldn't even tell you. I'd have to I'd have to research the whole fucking thing again, and ain't nobody got time for that. So I hope these three Nkaku Mod Vitas I got last me a lifetime, because I'm not fucking doing it again. It's a pain in the ass. So, for the people that don't want to put up with, you know, these rip-off Chinese products and stuff like that, I understand that. But when you're doing these emulator handhelds, it's pretty much what you're going to get. And for people that don't want to mess with, let's say you don't want to mess with the GPDXD, the battery issue, it's not really your type of cup of tea. And like I said, this battery is not clicky. So this ain't a clicky D-pad. It's kind of mushy. I don't really care for it. I don't really feel like you're pressing anything is kind of my problem with this. So let's say you didn't want to deal with that. Well, you have options. There is the GCW0, which I modded this one myself. Uh, I am looking to sell this, so if somebody does want to buy this, uh, get a hold of me, like on Facebook or something, I am looking to sell this. Uh, there's nothing particularly wrong with it, um, I, I just, you know, I, I, get, I tend to get bored of things rather quickly, but this thing's pretty sweet, uh, it runs Linux, it's, I modded it with uh, different buttons and the D-pad's a lot better than the stock one and shit, and it's good. But, this thing's pricey, you know what I mean, and to get all this stuff that I did to it done to it... Like, it's, it's going to take time and effort. This is... Okay, I'm going to tell you guys right now. And I've talked about this stuff in past videos, but I just like talking about it, bitches. Okay? I'm just a broken-ass fucking record. But I'm going to talk about it because I like talking about these motherfuckers, okay? So, taking this thing apart is probably the most insane thing I've ever done. And I've had to do it many times. Um, it's not... This thing is not easy at all to fucking take apart. There's a lot of, that fucking goes into it. So when you get a stock GCW, it fucking sucks. Like, it's repugnant. It's got literally the worst D-pad I've ever used, okay? Okay, it, it, it makes the fucking uh, Xbox original fucking D-pad look like a, a fucking Cadillac of D-pads, bitches, okay? We're talking worse than the PS1, PSP 1000, you, diagonals, get the fuck out of my... Who the fuck are you... You trying to do diagonals on, on, on this D-pad? Motherfucker, you're a fucking... You're a retard. You're a retard. So, it's just not gonna work. So, you gotta mod it. So, like I said, if anybody wants... Uh, any, interested in this, let me know. I am looking to sell it. I've, you know, just, you know, I'm, I'm looking to get other things. But I found something interesting for people that don't want to spend a little bit of money on the GCW Zero because it is expensive at this point. 
Uh, these things do not go cheap. They don't make them very often. I, I take, tend to make them in like small batches. It's fucking weird. So let's say you don't want to deal with all that shit. You just want to get something cheap. Ah, that's what this video is about, bitches. I have just found the coolest fucking thing. And there's a lot of people that may already know about this. But this right here, this is the retro game hand. I think it's just called the retro game. Um, let me grab the box here. I meant to grab this. This thing right here is 50 fucking dollars, bitches. Okay, like, I'm thinking about, like, buying a couple more of these and stocking up, you know what I mean? Pat the NES Punk style, okay? I, I gotta do it, bitches, because this is a fucking deal, okay? Now, when you get this thing, it's garbage, okay? It's repugnant. The software on it is fucking terrible. I mean, this thing can't even run NES out of the box. Like, it's struggling. Like, it's, oh, my God, this is... Oh, Miss Mega Man 3's giving me a strizzy, you know what I mean? Like, it's got straight up Parkinson's, okay? It's ridiculous. So, what do you do? Well, you gotta flash a new firmware on it. If you flash uh, Dingux, there's like this Dingux thing, and I'll link it in here. If, if you, All you gotta do is take it apart, take the SD card out, get a bigger one, flash an image on this bitch. We're talking, this thing rocks, man. It really does rival... This fucking GCW, it actually runs pretty much the same type of operating system. But you can get this for 50 bucks. And I'm going to tell you, build quality wise, it's not bad. It is light, but the, the D-pad's not bad. It's not, it's not mushy, but it's not clicky. It's like this little in-between. It feels really good. The buttons feel good. And if you guys have heard of the Revo, I like think it's the Revo 101, that's what this is. That's the same shell, you know what I mean? You got different different brightnesses on the fucking screen and shit, you know what I mean? And I don't know, I don't know too much about the battery life because it is fairly new, but uh, I'm gonna get something going here real quick and see what I can do real quick. So, uh, Genesis, it fucking rocks Genesis all fucking day long, well, you know, as it should. Um, I'll get, get some my jammy jam going on here right quick. Um, I like that it's got a volume turn knob. So that's fucking cool. You can just turn it like, you know, I feel like it's got manual windows and that, you know, I mean, it's old style, bitches. Give you an old style beat down. So we got Streets of Rage on here. And um, the, the I like how the start and uh, select buttons are raised, too. Like, this is always a problem with, like, even on the Vita, the start and select buttons are terrible. They're, like, flush with the system. They're hard to press on the original model. It sucks balls. Um, this one is, like, on the other side, so I don't really like them on that side. So, like, they're right here, so all you gotta do is bam, bam, you know what I mean? And I say that noise every time I press it, too. Bam, 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 you know what I mean? So, you can hear the music emulation. It's not too bad. It's kind of got tinny speakers, but it does have a headphone jack. And Genesis is fucking super smooth, bitches. Uh, let me... You know, it's not the best way to record it and shit, but you can kind of hear it. Actually, the mic's over here, so... There it is. You know, it's pretty fucking nice. And, uh, like, gameplay-wise, man, it's it's super fucking smooth. So, Genesis, completely perfect. Now, like I said, if you keep the, the actual... What it comes with, the original fucking firmware on this thing, good luck even getting anything to work, bitches. I'm telling you, it is... Terrible. I don't know what the fuck. I've never even seen anything that even resembles the firmware that this originally comes with. It's fucking bizarre. But literally to flash a new firmware on this will take like 10 minutes. I had a little trouble because the video I was watching is a little vague. And unfortunately, it's the only video I've really found. But if anybody has any questions, I'm going to link the video that shows you how to mod this thing in this video. And I'm going to show you where to buy this thing. And I recommend you guys pick one of these up. I mean, how 50 bucks, man. That's like shipped. Because I had uh, Amazon Prime, so I got two-day shipping up on that bitch. Uh, you guys bitches know, man. Okay? He's got the, all, the Linux-style operating system. This is like the same one that's on the GCW. Um, there's a ton of fucking emulators, bitches. There's emulators out the ass. Turbo graphics. It, it'll, it'll even play PS1, um, but not great. Uh, Super Nintendo's not too bad. Uh, the Super Nintendo emulator that this comes with, even on the new uh, firmware, mm, get the fuck out of here, okay? So you got to download SNES 9X, uh, put, it in, put it in your mouth, okay? Put it up in that butt. 
So stick it up in there, and you're pretty much good on Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo's not perfect. As Super Nintendo, I find on a lot, even the, the better emulation devices, it's a little iffy, you know what I mean? You even have to do Hinkaku on Vita to get Super Nintendo running, which I just don't understand, you know what I mean? I don't give a fuck, you know what I mean? But I'll, I'll buy, you guys know, I'll buy emulator device handheld. You can get a dildo that plays fucking emulators. I'm buying that bitch, you know what I mean? Give me a fucking break, okay? I'll add it to my fucking collection. So, I would recommend buying this, bitches. Uh, I, at first, I was kind of iffy. And it, it had this weird defect with the screen. And even on the video I'm going to link here on how to mod it, has this defect. And I got rid of it. But when you first get it, it has this little piece of paint like a it looks like a screen protector like you peel it off and maybe a screen protector would come with it but underneath that is like this red c like it looks like a c made out of red dots and I, I tried to peel mine off and all it did was peel a little teeny piece of tape off almost like it didn't take the screen protector off or i don't know what the fuck that was you'll see it on this guy's too and you can see the same c and it's on the screen so i'm like picking at it like like it's like it's like cancer or something, you know what I mean? Like I was like, what is the fuck is this? And my girlfriend was like, like why are you picking at that console? I was like, what is on the screen? You know what I mean? Like it's got this like skin cancer growth on it. And I found that like if you massage that motherfucker, like you know, dinner and a movie, and like you know, get real sensual with it, and I massaged it away. So I'm assuming maybe it's fucking dead pixels. But why would it be on every one in that same spot? Or maybe it's something in between the. I don't fucking know. If somebody could tell me what the fuck that was, and you'll see it. Oh, like I said, I'll, I'll link the video to this RetroCore page. It shows you guys how to mod these. It literally takes 10 minutes. Open it up. There's an SD card inside of it. Switch it out with one with the modded firmware. Pop it back in. You're good to go, bitches. Put the ROMs on that bitch. So, yeah. I'm very happy with this. For 49 bucks. I mean, you guys really can't beat that. I mean, where, where else are you going to get... Like, this thing, um, I'll, I'll probably sell... I could probably get hundred bucks out of this you know what i mean 100 120 bucks but this is half the price you know what i mean it does a little, little bit of work but i think i'm gonna be playing this quite a bit depending on how the battery is and the screen's not exactly that intensive so hopefully the battery's pretty fucking good so we'll see bitches but i just had to show you guys this and of course it comes with a broken english fucking uh manual and shit let me see if i can find something fucking interesting in this fucking manual man these are some of my favorite parts of the whole fucking thing. The machine mainly function. Please don't use and store the machine in the dusty, humid, high temperature, strong magnetic environment. Especially in the swimming pool. <laughs> don't you fucking dare throw this in the swimming pool, motherfucker. Bathroom or kitchen. To carry out the machine, especially when running an other strenuous exercise, please send the machine firmly fixed in the body so as to not fail from a height or weight of the pressure. Otherwise, the machine might sound quality decline, even damage. Come on, get it together. All right, connecting computer with USB, please make sure the correct direction of insertion. Otherwise, it will cause the computer fault or reverse fault. You don't want, you don't want to go into any of those fucking faults, okay? If <laughs> you, you got the regular fault, then you flip that shit in the fucking reverse, go the other way, bitches. All right, good, good communication. Good communication connection in portable computer do not twist usb so as to not affect normal operation of data interrupt install operation and data data what okay i can't okay garbage garbage you fucking break man i could I, I, I could just fucking put it together and get it all ready fucking blind and I, that would actually confuse me more like fuck that shit so yeah bitches want to make this talk about that shit and, uh, yeah, I might be doing a stream here, probably tomorrow, uh, maybe tonight, but it's 1.30 in the morning, so probably not. All right, sorry, bitches. Son of Rob, out.